Ah, all of Sweden is probably Tiger Woods' wife. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this is me and Thomas going live and uh, discussing the famous Swedes in sports. And we just <laughs> we just said that uh, Thomas just said that the most famous Swede in uh, North America must be the wife of Tiger Woods. And she is a daughter of one of our secretaries of former secretary of uh, what was she for immigrations yeah something like that. yeah immigration and neutralization services her mother you know uh, she was a social democrat a liberal and mm -hmm. uh, she was uh, you know as a liberal uh, got to tell you that in a progressive she she uh, was handling the situation she was a, a secretary of, of immigration while we had this big conflict in Darfur you know in Africa mm -hmm. and a lot of mm -hmm. refugees came to Sweden from there and uh, her service uh, came to the conclusion that that conflict was not as bad as it sounded so they shipped everybody back and most of these people were killed afterwards you know so uh, oh, it's not good no it's not a very nice thing to do it's a racist thing to do you know because it's, it's like you know pragmatics of politics are taking over the the, the you know hearts and soul of people because we we all knew that uh, the conflict in Darfur was was uh, you know it's, it was a nasty conflict. There were you know there, there were starvation. There were you know warlords running around killing people randomly. You know, and it was very com complicated. And the very few people, most of the people that that fled that country fled to neighboring countries, right? And very few of them made their way to Europe, and even fewer of them made their way to Sweden. And just because we uh, felt it was an inconvenient for us, out of an economic perspective, to take care of them, we made an administrative uh, decision that the conflict didn't fit the criteria of being, you know, uh, 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 a civil war and, and a bad conflict, you know. So we just shipped them all back. And most of these people ended up, uh, you know, losing their lives. So that's the story of Tiger Woods' mother. <laughs> she was responsible yeah. for that. That uh, makes some sense. I just read. I think she was the uh, director of asylum. Yeah. 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 And in in my eyes, she's a war criminal. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I I can understand that point of view. Because she's she's a she's a murderer basically. But. Uh, yeah, considering her decision yeah. affected that many people in that yeah. way. Yeah. And looks like uh, Brian's here. Oh, hi, Brian. Yeah. We just went hey. into politics. Yeah, so I've heard. Is that uh, someone in Sweden? Yeah, yeah. We were just uh, uh, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, you know, the the golf player. He has yeah. a Swedish wife, and uh, her mother is uh, was a director of asylum and immigration and neutralization services here in Sweden. So she oh. was, uh, in my view, she was responsible for a lot of people being, you know. Deported from Sweden and ultimately uh, killed. So she's a racist that, bitch. That makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> and I hate racists. Anyway, uh, let's go to screen share. Uh, so Thomas, uh, talking about race, are you are you really native Hawaiian or what's up? No, I'm actually. Um... Ethnically, I'm half Korean, and then a mix of German, Scottish, English, and I don't remember if it's French or Irish. Wow. Wow. But on my uh, on my dad's side, we can trace our lineage back to uh, Queen Anne and Queen Mary, and in turn, Queen Elizabeth I. Okay. Cool. So you're royal and everything. Right, except I'm like number like 190 billion on the list. <laughs> I know. I gotcha. <laughs> and then my mom's side is very fairly simple. She's Korean, and so if there's a Kim, which there's a bunch of them, we're probably related. <laughs> <laughs> we had a Kim here. We had a uh, well, perhaps it was first. We had a guy named Kim Sung, I think, but I guess that's uh, his first name. Probably his family name. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Asian there's cultures like. Yeah, Asian cultures usually in Korea usually it's the uh, family name first. Ah, okay, I guess so. I guess so. Well, there you go. 
Yeah, I'm uh, I'm 100% po Polish actually, but I I live in Sweden for since I was a little kid. I was 11 years old when I moved here. Polish isn't a bad thing. Sweet, I see a bunch of gems. That's a lot of gems. <laughs> oh, yeah. But and how about you, down. Brian? How about uh, you, Brian? Okay. Um, I was born in the Philippines. I grew up in Malaysia. And then, quite recently, about five years ago, I moved to the UK. Okay. Oh, nice. My wife's Filipino. Yeah. Oh, really? Never yeah, been to the PI, though. <laughs> She's never <laughs> been to the PI. <laughs> really? Yeah, so my Why kids not? my kids are half Filipino. Well, her parents, her parents immigrated a long time ago, 1960s, 1970s time wow. frame. Um, and my wife's the youngest of three and just never had the opportunity to do so. So... Our kids are half Filipino, quarter Korean, and then the other quarter split between all kinds of whiteness. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, I'm sorry. They, they, they immigrated in the 70s. My wife just corrected me. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's important, you know. Some of those, those family details are pretty important. So. Well, that's cool. All right, let me just uh, introduce you to a class that I made yesterday. Are, uh, am I sharing my screen? You are. Okay. Yeah. I created a date extension uh, class with days, hours, and minutes, and I just can't... I thought this would work, uh, but it doesn't. And let me just show you the behavior. Uh, let me see if I have a... I don't know. Uh, um, in application helper, uh, in application helper, I created this countdown method uh, that if I have an event time and I go to the, you know I just pick pick an event from the database, uh -huh. and then I set countdown time now to date, distance to, you know, so I call that special method that I created, and and then I calculate the minutes, hours, and days, right? Right. Uh, and I display them on the on the uh, landing page, let's see, localhost, localhost, and I thought in my infinite retardness that I... Uh, I did it right, you know, when I created that that method. But for some reason, minutes are not calculated. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. How did you guess, Thomas? Uh, Ackman, why did you decide to take uh, make a class out of it? Who makes uh, Scrum in six hours? Um, I don't know. Uh, I just thought it was a good thing to do. You know. All right. Uh, but this I thought is Java like, might be getting to your head. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it could be. No, I thought. You know, um, I just made an. Uh, since I was, uh, I, you know, I was, uh, I'm, you know, I'm using the date uh, uh, object, you know, uh -huh. uh, and I thought, oh, timed object here. So I thought, when I, since I, I'm going to call a new method on that, uh, that's why I wanted to extend it. You know, I mean, the, there is a lot of methods associated to with time, and that's why I kind of thought that I will just uh, add to the, the the ones that are already. Exist, if that makes okay. sense. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense, but it does. Well, it did for me at the time, and but it was last night, you know, it was late. So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I, I'm not attached to this code because it doesn't work. No, oh, it's and, fine. And um, wait a second. Yeah, let's just let's just have a look at the the, the code because see, the I also I also have a problem with this calling of the event. 
so this one is like, uh, let's see, if I set this to noon UTC, and this is today's date, right? Mm -hmm. So if I should run this now, yeah, now he says, oh, for some reason it works now. He says 12 hours and 29 minutes. It is, the, it is calculating minutes for, somehow. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, is that correct? No, it's not correct. I mean... Uh, I'm wondering if... Would it, I mean, have the dates been set properly? 12, 12.29... It depends on whether this is p.m. or a.m., right? Because if this is... A, yeah. Uh, hmm... I'm not. I'm not sure. You know, it depends on if if this date or because what twelve hours and twenty nine minutes. It is actually eleven thirty one right now, thirty three. Yeah. So it so. should be only about um, four hours forty five minutes till the next. Well. One. But yeah, but I said I said uh, well let, let's set this at fifteen. What is what? Where is the next next scram? Is fifteen? Fifteen. Fifteen, 15 right? Fifteen, yeah. fifteen today. So let's see if this. Now it says fifteen hours, which is completely. 15. I think it's just printing out that event time. It could I do think that. it is yeah. just printing out the event time. Yeah, and that's so. This means that this distance two is not working at all, right? Well, uh, wait. How are, it might be calculating correctly, but you might not be using it. Mm -hmm. Are you using minutes left, hours left, and days left? I thought I was. Let's see. On the. Uh, why don't you just set like minutes left to some random value in? can see if that's uh, what's coming out. Yes. 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 Let's see here. Um, let's see here. Uh, because here I'm calling, you know, this is the visitor's controller, right? Right. So let's just uh, set these Let's comment this out and set these to like uh, they, they should be strings, right? Uh, or integers? I don't know. Neither do I. Let's try this like this. Um, it must be and since we have daily scrums, I think there'll be no point having days left. Oh, uh, but we we have uh, uh, the reason why I, I I had days because we uh, we shouldn't have I mean we don't have any decision about uh, scrums in uh, in um, oh in on weekends okay. you know okay this is interesting right. so we twelve days what the fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. That right? yeah, this is right. Days, hours, okay. And minutes. Okay. There's a time difference gem that's out that'll calculate the difference between two time objects. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, perhaps. Yeah. In fact, let me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and post here in the chat the uh, Stack Overflow link and then the. GitHub for the time diff gem itself. And they're both there now. Well, I probably should have put a separator. And if I'm looking at it properly, what the time diff will do is just basically take what you're trying to go between and then basically do everything that you did in one line. Okay. 
Uh, I haven't looked at the library yet. I'm going to look at the library and see what it does. Uh, where is my... Oh, I hate when this happens. There he is. What do you think, Brian? Um, that, that gem looks like it can do what you want. Mm -hmm. I don't know unless it's uh, unless you really wanted to create your own time difference calculating because it's not that difficult to create it. Maybe yeah. this is a small bug somewhere. I think it is. I, th I mean since I already <laughs> created it we could just refactor it and make it work potentially you know. Yeah. You want to grab the code? Uh, sure. It's, uh, let's just, yeah, git commit am some code errors in class. And a sad face, I'm going to do a sad face. <laughs> <laughs> it's that important, sad face. <laughs> of course it's, that, that's funny. <laughs> There we go, and git push. Origin events. Because my idea was, Brian, that if we have the events, event object in place, whether we have the interface or not ready, what we could do, we could create a bunch of events, you know, manually in the database uh, that are, you know, with the dates of our, you know, times of our scrums, uh -huh. and if we have this countdown in place, we could push that out, you know, to development and production because that's that's actually as one one of the stories we were supposed to deliver, you know, right. the countdown to to next scrum. The story doesn't say that this countdown needs to be interactive in any way, you know. We have there's, right. we just want to show. That it's there, so we could we could start using that this event object for something, and then we could continue to work on the interface, uh, you know, creating and updating and showing off the 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 events, and try to. I think I mean pretty much of this work is already done, so uh, we we could potentially deliver this rather fast. I mean. If we put in a few hours today and a few hours tomorrow, we could deliver this on Monday. What do you think? Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, I think it would be very beneficial for us to have that. <coughs> yeah. Just yeah. And then, you know, out of out of the, the, the sprint perspective, we have... Uh, uh, I'm going to talk to Daniel uh, mm -hmm. whether he can finish the sponsor story. I don't really know what's what's holding us back on that one. I think he sh this one should potentially be delivered now. Uh, now, are you working on the bio section or who's working on the bio section? Um, I think I'll work on the bio section. Jeff, Jeff uh, started. Oh, yeah, Jeff assigned it. Uh, because at the time I was busy with indexing, but now since that's done and gone, I should be able to come back to that. Yeah, and that's not a very complicated story now, is it? No, I've written up this the tests. Mm -hmm. I just need to write up the behavior. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping to pair with somebody on that, because mm -hmm. I don't want my name to be all over the commits again. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but Thomas, this is an important thing, you know, because we we don't want to, we 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 need to to spread the the, the, the those commits around actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so and, uh, Marcelo is working on the hire me button. It's it it's it's not a very complicated story. Perhaps he does it a little more complicated than he has to. The, we we use the model, you know, a bootstrap model that pops up when it's supposed to hold the form, and we had a problem with uh -huh. testing that because I was I tried to use the visibility tag, you know, yeah, and it didn't it didn't I mean it went green then we broke it and it still went green so 
<laughs> that that makes uh, makes the test uh, you know useless. Are you guys uh, testing with uh, selenium? No, we were testing with Capybara so far. So okay, but uh, I well the model might need JavaScript. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so and and but the hire me button on this in this iteration is just a plain you know mailer. We can send it off. So we could potentially help uh, Marcelo with this. And this yeah. is also like a hour, hour and a half. That you know something like that. Sure. And we can we can live with that one. Calculate and display time zone. It's an easy story. Uh, I haven't started on it yet because I but but it it is. Uh, we just we just take the you, you had a gem you 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 said something about the gem that could could help us with that. Uh, Ryan, there was one. Yeah. No. Um, the time diff gem. Yeah, yeah the time, time diff gem is not the same thing for us because this is a time zone issue. Oh, oh, well, right. But I think you could base it off oh, the UTC. Yes. Yeah, I or think you could modify. You you could probably modify the gem to be based off of UTC, even if it is. I mean, even if it's time zone specific, if, if until we can get something working that'll be able to say, hey, choose a time zone and we'll base it off this time zone. But the it's thing is, the, what's, what, what, we, what we have, we have the geocoding of each user, you know? Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is to, basically, what we want to do is, is to take his, you know, this geocoding and translate that to a time zone. You know, just place him in in the right time time zone. It's that shouldn't be too hard actually. Either Oh yeah, I don't think time diff will work for that one then. No. Oh, my my first idea was to hit an external API that could mm -hmm. give us that. But then we, you remember, Brian, we discussed it and we uh -huh. were you in that discussion, I think? Yeah, and we could we, we agree that there should could be either a built-in function in in Rails or a gem that could help us with this. This is the still we're talking about the time zone, are we? Yeah. 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 I, I remember seeing a gem that does that, but mm. I can't remember. Uh, can't remember which one now. Yeah, we need to ask. You know, next, yeah. When we see that, means we need to paste those links because people forget. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah. yeah, yeah, I can research that later. But this is not a, a, a complicated story, uh, so no, we no. can we can make this happen over the weekend as well, actually. And yep. so some printers were working on the add skill stack to user. Let's see if we can do something. And we, sh I think we sh will be able to deliver this CRUD interface for events over the weekend as well. And cool. and 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 the con uh, yeah, the clock to next AV Scrum. And it's a t oh. Oh look! This is a true three-point story. Wow! Why that? <laughs> wow! Cool. I think they were a bit ambitious when they put that in. Maybe they were hoping for a fancy JavaScript clock, animating in the background, but ticking away. <laughs> let's see. Here. As the site administrator, to give the members plenty of time in order to increase the attendance in scrums, I must display a countdown to the next AB Scrum on the homepage. As a site user, you know, the, uh, yeah, add events, handling functionality. That's what we're doing. Recurring events, yes. Countdown functionality, yes, 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 yes. We can deliver this, and we can deliver the CRUD interface, and we have six points. That's good. Yep. That's good. Six, seven, eight, nine, and we already have eight. Uh, that's 17. That's good. 17 and 18, 19, 20. Yeah, we can deliver 20 points this this over the weekend. No problems. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, no problems. It's just well, 20 points. Shit, loads of problems, but we can do it. <laughs> Off topic, but is it only two degrees where you're at, Brian? Two degrees? Oh yeah, it is outside. But well, it's really sunny. It's, so it's twenty-two sort of... degrees, and there is no sun here. <laughs> oh, it's one of the rare days where I have sun. Don't worry. Mm. Most of it is cloudy. Um, right. Events. Oh. Where was it? 
Uh, where was it? Thomas. Where, what are you talking about? What, the calculations. Oh. oh, the calculations were in a... Uh, um, uh, no, the calculation itself is in a file called... I don't know. Uh, fuck. Uh, date, extension, date extension. Date extension. Date, date, uh, date under, uh, yeah, underscore extension. All right. Cool. Hours minus day. What's day? Uh, uh, oh. Why? What was I thinking there? Why a second? Uh, How about I put a debugger in here? Yes. And. <laughs> Run. The time of parse time dot now. That's at eight. Scrumming. Does it? No, it doesn't calculate. Oh, did you comment it out? Well, I commented out the events one. I I have, I hard coded the. Yeah. Oh yes, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Okay, I got you. Uh, refresh the page. Now it's stuck here. And it's all done on server side right now, so I don't know even if this is the best best way to do this. See, what? just go see. Oh, okay. All right, see. Private method hour. What? Saturday, first of March. Okay. Oh, so there is no hours. No, there. In the way we are parsing the uh, the date, right? Yep. Okay. So wait, go back here. Time dot now to date. Why to date? Uh, why to date? What was that? I didn't have that for a. Hmm. This could be getting rid of all minutes. Yes. That's yes, concern. that's my concern as well because yeah. All right. right. Take time, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, time dot now. Well, let's find out. No method error distance to. Okay. So you put it to date, but without the date, it's yeah because it's oh it's it's extension the date extension so that that's why I needed a date. Right, but the date gets rid of the time information. Like okay, so we, hour. but a date. So we, but if we, if you go to date time and extend that, you know, instead of extending the date, we extend date time. Right. Could do. Date time. Do I need to rename the class? Yeah. All right. And restart the server probably. Oh, of course. Although one would think that there should be some fix for that, so we don't have to restart the server all the time. Require file expand. Oh. Yeah, just do refactor, and that should change. Yeah. Cool. Well, I didn't know you can extend stuff this way, Thomas. I'm impressed. Well, uh, I am actually impressed that you are impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed by myself right now. No method error distance too. I I, no, I, I knew you could do that because I actually paid attention when somebody said that in that lecture that you can basically extend anything. You can override everything. In in, in Rails. Yeah, but uh, I never done it in Rails before. 
Yeah, I had a buddy of mine that's uh, been doing rails for about a year. He said the great thing about it is you can override everything. Yeah. Nothing is set in stone. Just going to stick a debugger in there. So is that normal whenever you're doing Rails apps is to just stick a debugger? It's helpful. Is that require daytime extension, right? So this thing hasn't updated itself. It's helpful because you get to, you know, see what's what's happening in this part of the code. Oh, it's the fastest way to, to find out what's what's wrong, basically. You know. And if right, I that makes sense. Then. That makes sense, then, because we did a lot of debugging when we did assembly, and now that makes a lot of sense. Assembly. Yes. <laughs> that stupid language. Yikes! You guys yes. write assembly. Didn't you uh, have that in, in 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 classes, Brian? What you were mechan mechanics or what? What did you study? Mechanical engineering. Yeah, didn't you do a lot of assembly in that? Zero programming. Zero programming? Yes, zero really? programming. In mechanical engineering? Almost zero. Um, we only had to do uh, programming in this special language called MATLAB, which is basically like just for math. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. And there's a lot of people at, uh, at my school that are doing MATLAB in, in a class, and they're engineering majors. Yeah. Talking about math, I just kind of have to show you something. Uh, Facebook. Uh, I just sent a love, a love uh, uh, message to my girlfriend, and I can give you a tip. You can send it to your. It's a geeky way to say I love you. Let me just show you. I don't know if my wife would know it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a sec. Mm, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I've been interested about MATLAB, though. Now, if you go you need to... to buy the software. Oh, yeah? So. Yeah, it's not free. Now, if you go to this site... Yeah, Wolfram Alpha is amazing for anything math. Now, and you type this in... Wow, that is a fairly complicated the equation? equation. Yeah, <laughs> just type it in, guys. X squared, X squared, power 3. X squared plus X squared to the power of 2 thirds. 2 power 2 thirds. Minus you fucking power. Power. Just fucking press that button. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. <laughs> you drew a heart. That is phenomenal. Oh. Phenomenally nerdy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, inequality plot. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Isn't this cool? So I wrote to Jessica. I this equation. You. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was she think? Oh, she just said you're fucking geek. You know. No. <laughs> That's okay. I think my wife. Uh, my wife loves it whenever I get like super nerdy. But isn't this cool? I mean, this is a the best way to say I love you. <laughs> I think. Well, I agree. This, but it's cool. I love it. Time. T dot hour. What? Here, I got one. I, I, I don't know how much you guys are up and up on uh, American comic book characters. Here's a very, very complicated one. It kind of, like, gives it away at the beginning, but this one is phenomenal. Mm. Oh, gosh. 
just uh, let me see. That's the Batman, Batman logo. The, wow. the, the Batman logo in a math equation. Oh wow. <laughs> that's cool. So yeah, yeah that's really cool. The, the, that's whoever came up with that is super nerd and I give them kudos. <laughs> so if you just if you copy this one, let's see here. If you copy the copy, yeah. If you take oh wow. That's a long equation. And yeah. And you paste it here and calculate that again. It's gonna render that logo. It'll probably take a little while. Um I might have to go to the one that you did. Let me see if I can do it. No, we didn't it didn't make it. No, it didn't make it. Didn't even make I it think to the there's, plot. Um, there's one that uh that is all in one equation. Let me see if I can find the actual equation and then that would uh that might help. It, it, it's a multiple of equations. So, um hold on, let's see. Two times square root minus absolute absolute. I just I just want to copy this. Oh. Alright, let me see if this one works. And then all your nerd friends might like geek out in it and put too long. Oh. Oh. The input's crazy long. If you had a graphing calculator, even if you go on um Hold on, let me double check it. But uh, for you, Thomas, you have Grapher installed, and I think it works on Grapher. Let me double check it, though. Oh, now we just. Command. <laughs> y equals command B. Yeah, it must be some heavy fucking equation that I just put in there because <laughs> he just went nuts, you know? Oh. Uh oh. Something's missing. No valid operation found. Uh, wow. Poopy. Oh, never mind. I mean, it's a crazy <laughs> equation. Yeah. I mean, there's like inverse absolute values of absolute values that require multiplication of absolute values cubed. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I mean, it's a phenomenal thing. I think the best way I had to work on the graph for those, I broke it down like eight different equations. Mm. So if I do it this way. Oh my goodness, this one works. If you go to Google and then just type this into the search bar, minus all the crossing out. You removed the crossing outs? I, the, I didn't, but you did. If, if, if you Google that, probably should work. Google. Yeah, just, just, just put it straight into the Google search bar. Hmm. I got a bunch of searches. Yeah, it didn't work for me, Thomas. Really? Maybe it's an uh, American thing. Absolute, absolute, absolute. There's too many absolutes in here. <laughs> right. All right. Well, let me share my screen real quick what? and then see how this works out. Uh, desktop to start. Oh, yeah, this is a complex equation. So you can see my screen, right? No, yeah. Oh, stupid lag. All right. Yeah, I see it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. And so maybe it's... So Google, that's the equation. Let's search it. Bam, graph four. Uh -huh, okay, there you go. Oh, okay. There it is. I wonder if we can do it with that heart as well. How Probably. Can you get it? I, I don't get that. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. 
maybe Google in your part of the world is more geeky than ours. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, it originated here, so maybe I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google the equation that Thomas Thomas no, I bet, posted. I bet if I stick this into MATLAB, it'll do something. Oh, I guarantee it would. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't do anything. But let me go graph for. Oh, poop. No. Um, let me Google how to show a graph in Google. Oh, food. Wow. Mm, I got the best wife in the world. I think that's. Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm. Should have seen this breakfast. Wow, guys. Breakfast is a good thing. It always is. Yeah, let me share my screen here. Oh, no. I want to see this. Oh, he's sharing his screen and not sharing his food. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, that looks delicious. Rambles, wow. eggs, toast, sausages, you know. Pure, this is a, my weekend treat, you know. I usually eat healthy, but on weekends I can indulge myself. In. Oh, is, this, is this your uh, your, your, your cheat days? Yeah, these are my cheat days. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my I live life days, you know, otherwise I just... No. Right, right, makes sense, makes sense. I used to do, you know, training like five, six, six days a week, eating uh -huh. 5,500 calories a day. Uh -huh. That's a lot of calories. Yeah, but, you know, with, with the amount of training I was doing, I could... Right, I right, have, right, makes sense. I should have went up to 6,000, 6,500 or something, you know. But I just couldn't, with other supplements, and, you know, I couldn't eat that much, you know. I know right. one athlete here in Sweden... A skier, he trained that so much he he was eating ten thousand calories a day, and he said, but that took him like several years to 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 actually, you know, prepare his body to, I mean, to teach his body to do that, that much stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think he, said, we'll, he couldn't do it do it for more than a year or something, you know. Um, right, right. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a lot of caloric intake. When I was in the military, on on hard training weeks, the average intake of calories would be probably around four thousand to five thousand calories, and a normal diet's about two thousand calories. Yeah, two thousand, two thousand five hundred. You know, for a big guy, I'm 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 one point nine, uh, one eighty six centimeters, one, one mm -hmm. meter eighty six, and weight around hundred kilos. Uh, and so, so I, you know, I usually when I just want to maintain my weight, I eat two thousand five hundred calories, something like that. Yeah, I mean that that makes sense. Mm. I mean that, that's what six six just over six feet. Yeah, and two hundred two hundred pounds something, right? Yeah, but I mean that also, like we were talking about before, that doesn't also correlate overly. Great with with a body mass index, mm -hmm. just because certain measurements aren't accurate in that. Does yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, we we spoke about it last last time. Yeah. Yeah, and, and so I mean, and then I'm, the BMI says I'm fat, obese, basically, you know. Mm-hmm. But I'm not. Right, and uh, we had a we had a couple guys when I was in the military. I mean, their BMI said that they were way overweight, but then the way they got around it was they did a float test. Because mm -hmm. you know the 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 less fat you have, the less likely you are to float. Mm -hmm. Um, and so they would do it. I mean, they they fork out big bucks to do it, and, and mm -hmm. their yeah, because uh, you have body to... fat level was at like two percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. You have to go to a laboratory to do that. You know, you you. I mean, they they are selling. On the market, there are some body fat measurement uh, tools, but they are. Uh, they are not good. The, they don't measure your your body fat in in a in a proper way. Uh, right. Right. So, right. So you have to do a float test basically to, to in order to be really sh uh, you know sure about your body fat levels. Uh, another way to do it is the electricity test that you know you 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 put a, you send a current through your body, mm -hmm. and when it returns. Uh, 
depending on 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 some you know algorithm. I I I don't know how how it's calculated calculated, but that could potentially calculate the body fat in your in your body. But it's not a very re reliable test either. Right. So uh, the the best one is the the floating test. Oh, absolutely. I'm trying to figure out what the formula for body fat because I think it's like. Oh, so the body fat percentage is um, 86.01 times the logarithm of your waist size minus your neck. All that minus 70.041 times the log of your height plus 36.76, and that gives you your body fat percentage. Wow. So <laughs> who came up with that? I have no clue. Let me, uh, the, 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 the waist and the neck? Uh, right. They said it was <laughs> yeah, direct you know, correlation this, with... Um, this sounds like a hoax to me, you know? But No, and, and so, well, let's see. U.S. Army Fat Calculator. Um, and so, I am 510 for argument's sake. And when I got height and weight, I was 25, and my neck was 18 inches, so that's what, 1 foot 6, and my waist was 2 feet 10 inches. And so that gave me a body fat of 11%, according to the Department of Defense. Which actually was a lot larger than that. I think my body fat was really at like twenty percent. Mm. But know. then, if you look right, if, if if my neck shrinks, right? So let's say I have a very tiny neck. I got a one foot neck. Actually, you know what? Let's go to mm. let's go ahead and bring this to three feet. So we'll go ahead and say it's a thirty six inch waist. And then we'll go back to my, what, one foot, six inch. My body fat jumps up to 15%. Yeah, listen, I, I, can, I can understand the waist, perhaps, with the reservations, but the neck uh, is, I mean, this is genetic. I mean, some guys are have thick necks and some other don't. I mean, come on. Right, 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 right. I mean, I, I know someone that has, he's got a 36 inch waist and like a 20 inch neck. Yeah. So and I so mean, this formula, this formula is bullshit. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't buy it for a second. Right, and that was a big argument, and they have never fixed it. So, mm. uh, I'm envious of your breakfast. My breakfast is probably going to be a bowl of rice. Mm. <laughs> All so, right. Brian, you, you, your other half, you said you're half yeah. Filipino. What's the other half? Um, Malaysian Chinese. My dad's uh, Chinese from, but uh, he's, his uh, grandparents moved to Malaysia, like, I don't know, generations ago. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I think ultimately anybody from that part of the world has some tie to either Chinese or Mongolians. For the Huns. Yeah. Um, so, it's a. Uh, uh, I tell a lot of people, you know, when it comes to Koreans, Koreans are essentially Chinese that have Mongolian features mm. that started mm. generations ago. I mean, I'm talking two, three, four thousand years ago. And we, the Polish people, beat the shit out of the Genghis Khan's armies, you know? Right, right, but I think, I think, I forget where it was, it was, uh, I think one in seven Mongolians can be traced back directly to Genghis Khan. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. And that's current day Mongolians. Mm -hmm. One in seven, like, males. My grandfather, wow. back in communism, Poland, he was working on, in a foreign uh, trade department, uh, foreign trade de de ministry, and he was stationed in Ulan Batar. Uh, for for a few years actually, so I really would like to go to Mongolia someday. I uh, I'm very very impressed by the culture, and I would like to go out to the steppe and just ride some Mongolian horses and learn how to shoot the bow. Right. I mean, 
Malaysia isn't a bad place either. A couple of my instructors are from Malaysia. Oh, really? Instructors yeah. in your university? Yeah. Um, my pre-calc teacher, who I didn't ever pay attention to, he, uh, how do you explain it? He, he grew up in Malaysia, went to college in Canada, and got his master's in the U.S., and then my business communication instructor, she she's from Malaysia, and she's got her uh, educational doctorates from USC. I forget what part of Malaysia she's from. Let's see if I can find her blog. There's a blog has it. Da -da 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 -da. I can't find it. Oh no. Honey Trunk. Blog. It's your Twitter, LinkedIn. There it is. Found it. So what brought you out to the UK, Brian? Sorry? What brought you out to the UK? Uh, studies, I guess. And my family moved here. Actually, my family moved here before I started university. So then, uh, shortly after we moved, I started university around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. One day I'll end up out there. I mean, I, oh, really? I've flown into Ireland, and I spent like three hours in Ireland, and from what I've saw and very little I interacted with. I mean, it, it was amazing. And then going to, I want to go to Scotland and I definitely want to go to Great Britain yeah. um, just for historical context and then tracing some of my lineage back. <laughs> and so, so, so my business comma instructor, she's from Kuala Lumpur. Oh, okay. I used to live near Kuala Lumpur. Oh. These are enormous cities, aren't they? Sorry? This, it, the cities are really big. How many people live in Kuala Lumpur? Uh, I can't remember, but yeah, the cities are big compared to Europe. The buildings are tall. Mm. It feels like a real city. Mm. When I first came to the UK, everything was so short. Uh, I was underwhelmed in London. <laughs> All the buildings yeah, are the cradle a of, couple of, of stories European, high. Yeah, the cradle of, of European civilization. <laughs> you guys are feel underwhelmed all that. Yeah, but I remember <laughs> first time I went, I, I came to Hong Kong. It was and Tokyo was like completely. Uh -huh. it, it was like landing on a different planet. You know, uh, everything was so different. The people were different. Yeah. The, the buildings, the the, the, the of course the, the writings on all sides, but also the. The, the the rhythm of the of the city was was completely different than the European cities, you know. I I, I loved it. I, yeah. I I thought both Tokyo and uh, I've been to Bangkok, I've been to Singapore, I've been to mm -hmm. Tokyo and and Hong Kong. The, these are the Asian cities that I visited. Seoul is uh, a great place if you ever get a chance. Oh, I would love to go to Seoul. Yeah, I would love to go to to South Korea. Uh, they have a building. It's called the sixty three building. It's sixty three stories. They have an indoor movie theater. I think there's like three stories of shopping. Wow. And I think it has the largest underground shopping mall in East Asia. Wow. I mean, this thing's huge, too, and it has an aquarium in that shopping mall. Yeah, I have to go wow. there. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like a great place to be. Right, and the food's so, great, so... Oh, yeah, food's always great. In Asia. Yeah, I mean, yeah, anywhere in Asia, it doesn't matter where you can go. Malaysia, China, Korea, Japan, Philippines, it doesn't matter. The food's delicious. In fact, I had Filipino food for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of the meso in Shanghai. I just had a traditional American breakfast. Lots of cholesterol. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and if there isn't enough, just 
add more salt and anything that'll make you even more fat. Yeah, and bloaty, yeah. <laughs> you have to retain water and you have to retain fat. That's basically the American way. Right, right. <laughs> it makes no sense because a lot of the states are, you know, very mild climately, you know, so you don't have to be fat to stay warm, unlike the uh, Canadians, you know, who have to be fat to stay warm, but they yeah. can't stay fat because it's always cold. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like it's passing. All right, what's up? Let's see. Uh, I All see right. Red. What's that? I saw red. What are you working on? Oh, me. Yes. Why don't I show you what I'm working on? Uh, there we go. Next scrum in three hours and 57 minutes. Right. Did you fix it? Oh, yeah. Of course he fixed it. It's Brian. It's, you know, <laughs> we just give him something. You close your right. eyes, count to ten, and, and he's fixed. <laughs> I, I, I got any Rails issues. It's like I told Thomas at one point, if I got any issues with trying to figure out what's going on with Ruby, I'm like, eh, either you two or Pavel or Sam when he's not busy doing a bazillion other things. And, of course, Ruby Docs help. Of course. Yeah. I use, well, to get this answer, I use Stack Overflow a lot. Stack Overflow is um, like a, a, a crutch. I mean, a bunch yeah. of it makes sense, too. In fact, that's how I got my Java program to work with Stack Overflow. Oh, yeah. Well, I think the main thing here is your function was correct, but you should have been using date time rather mm -hmm. than date. Yeah. Because time didn't have, like, minutes, an yeah. hour. Yeah. Date so that was have... my mistake. So yeah. we, let's we just in order to make me feel a little better, it wasn't uh -huh. I wasn't completely off, I was close, but I missed You were the... very close. Hmm. All right. Good. So let's uh let's uh, have a look at the we have to have a look in you might as well uh, uh keep the code for a while. Let's have a look at the model controller. Right. Because I'm having lots of threads going on there. Model. I removed a lot of. Uh, I mean, model spec. I'm sorry. Um, the model spec. Uh, oh. The the event spec for models. God damn it! What the fuck am I talking about here? The event it's a yes. traditional American breakfast getting to your head. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too much fun. <laughs> it, <So>. Wow. <laughs> yeah. There's a. Uh, I. I um, I removed a lot of these those these methods that had to do with you know every month every month and every year and everything you know oh, yeah. from the controller and we have to refactor all these steps. These these were passing for me before when I had all this uh, these methods you uh -huh. know to start with, but now that since I removed them, uh, uh, the only one that is passing is the first one. Right. What is I would like us. I, I would like us to test for, you know, every other week or something. You know, right? And I not every other week, but you know, every th every Tuesday, for instance, or every whatever. Isn't the Jeez. every weekend, every Sunday kind of redundant though? Because Sunday is part of the weekend. Yeah, it is redundant. You're right. Okay. Well, you're going to have to walk me through this, Thomas. It's going to take a while for me to read through all this. The thing the question I also have is, is is that the EDT, does that change the EST whenever we go through daylight savings because us Americans are retarded and still using daylight savings time? <sighs> Good point. And this is not me. This is Rails. Do you think that? Is it? Yeah, Rails should be smart enough to do that. We could trust it. Yeah, you would assume that. I think. Uh, I think. I don't know. It's kind of difficult because be, because we use daylight savings stone. It's not every state. Hawaii, where we're the same time no matter what. Um, but you go to places like New York and whatnot. It's it's a little different. It's it's, it's just set everything to UTC and then go. From this point to this point is going to be minus three, and then from this point to this point is going to be minus four. 
So the thing is, what I've done here uh, was uh, I, I, cr I created those those events and I checked the database, you know, for instances, and just cut it and paste, you know, the the output. But something must have changed, basically. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah. So and there is a lot. We could we could. Uh, you know, we, we could scrap most of this and just, uh, but we actually what we could do is to have a look at the one that is passing and just, you know, have a, understand why this one, why it is actually passing. Uh-huh. And also here you see it that on line 15 or no, 16 you have every N months. That is, we don't have that method anymore, so we have to remove it. Then it repeats monthly, it repeats every N years and yearly. That's not also redundant. We don't need that. And N days are not used either anymore. Okay. Uh, repeat ends. Repeat. That's N. used. Repeats is used, and repeat ends and repeat on is used. But perhaps we okay. took away one too many. Actually, wait a second. We are using. Hmm. Let's see here. If I just go to the. Database Rails S. Let me see. Let's see here. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh man, I should have rebooted my computer overnight, but it didn't. Okay. Well, it's still in the schema. Mm, yes, because we haven't. Yeah. yeah. We haven't cleaned that up yet. So we have to clean that up. But for instance, you know, if you if if I go, if I go to, I don't know if you see my screen now. If I display the last event like this, uh -huh. so this is what I'm seeing, and this is the scrum, you know, the name description. So you know, and here are here are uh, the from time and to time, you know. But then I also could have. Oh, and by the way, you guys are right. Rails is smart enough to figure out if it's daylight savings time or not. Mm. Oh. Because so every event object has a schedule uh, to attach to it. Right, 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 right. So we and have so a start time and end time on the schedule as well. Right, and the way I'm understanding what's going on in Stack Overflows, everything in Rails gets stored to UTC anyway. And then if yeah. it comes to somewhere that, 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 that uses daylight savings, it'll check, is it daylight savings? Cool. Let's let's For let's reference. let's start with cleaning up the the schema first. Let's if we can open the migration and remove some of the stuff that we were adding to that, and we, then we can drop the database and and remigrate everything, right? Yeah. And we should sure. have clean. Uh, let me close all these. Hi to you. Database migration down here. Create events. Add categories to events. Yeah, that's that's the latest latest change. You can actually move that to the original migration, perhaps. Right. Add column. Right. Add column events category string. Category. Right. So Thomas, you want to walk me through all this? Yearly on on ordinals mask. Wow. There is a lot. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yes. Let's see here. Uh, so twelve can go. And 12. 13, line twelve is is 
uh, we can take it from that. Now, twelve. Next twelve can go. Next twelve can go. Yeah, and this Most twelve should stay. And right. now thirteen can. Thirteen can go. Fourteen can go. The, the thirteen what, now. I think that is. The, yeah. And yeah. Repeat monthly. Stay there. That should. That could go as well. Thirteen. Um, that. Uh, yeah. Actually, don't do anything now. Then thirteen, fourteen. Uh, everything from thirteen to nineteen can go now. Wait. No. 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 Yes. 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 Uh, thirteen to nineteen. Right. Yes. Repeat weekly. That should. Yeah. Oh shit! I shouldn't have done that. Oh, never mind. It's too late now. <laughs> What's uh, that? No, no, no. I could have just done a rollback, but now that I've deleted stuff and moved things around, I'll just drop it and make it mm. again. Break DB. Drop. Hello. Okay. Doesn't like it. Welcome home. Website development. Uh oh. Break TV. Create. Hey, Tadeus, what's up? Uh. Okay. Maybe I should update the seeds file now. Since we added so many other stuff. Um so I added some articles, project users. Now we have Events, don't we? Validates. Well, I'll borrow from your specs here. Seeds.rb. I'll just create one event. Unknown attribute repeats every n days. Okay. F fact. The only thing we're using now is the weeks, right? Um. Yeah. No. Oh no, weeks every n weeks is not there. But we don't use that anymore either. We just we we don't use every n days or every n weeks. Okay. Right. We just use okay. uh, you know the mask for you know Monday, Tuesday, th you know, and then yeah, we just okay. Update. So it looks like it succeeded. Oh, hi, Sam Pretty. Hey, hi, guy. What's up? Hi. I just joined in, so yeah. like I wasn't there from the beginning. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, events. So it's turning out empty. What? Yeah, reload the page. Reload the page. Oh. Yeah, we have Do a problem with that. 
<laughs> that's that's the turbolinks uh, fucking thing. So. Right. Okay. All right. There you go. One time event. Yeah. And no, edit edit really that cool. event now. If you if you try to edit it. Uh oh, I can edit it, but I'm not logged in. Uh well, oh, okay. you won't be able well, to edit it. Okay. Won't be able to anyway. You can't do that over in the local host. Uh, log in with your web browser and try again. Right. That's just a small bug. When no, you... you, GitHub won't let you do that on localhost. No, it did. It did? But, yeah. I think Yarrow managed to get it working. Which is, I don't know why we didn't get it last time. Because the, cost, I, the, the... Well, whatever, okay. Yeah. Well, I think it was just because of some cache data or something. Because right. I recreated the database. Cool, so I can edit this. One time event, all day. Let's, do, let's make it. Uh, my guess is that your uh, the daytime picker won't work either right now. What? Your date and time pickers won't work. Oh right. Until so you refresh the date. I refresh, yeah. And that sucks, but we'll fix that later. Yeah, we'll fix that later. Mm. So links. let's 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 set repeats on it. Since, uh, uh okay, it repeats weekly. Yeah. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What's yeah. that? Event updated. Okay. And okay, really, check. But you have to reload the page again, I think. Okay. No. Reload the page. Oh, you didn't. You made a mistake, I think. Go to the edit the show page again. Uh huh. And upcoming events. No, he didn't. You see, he didn't. Uh, he didn't create the schedule. Go edit it again. Uh huh. There's something wrong in the logic because you see, you oh, said okay. repeats weekly, and oh, you Gosh. have to reload again because the, yeah. yeah. Okay. So and repeat ends. That's. Is that that, necessary? Yeah, well, you have to set a date for this. What does it say, June? Oh. I don't know. I don't June know 17 either. to 2013. Okay, and start, why is it starting from 2013? I don't June know. June 17. Uh, okay. You just created it, so, you know. Yeah. You should know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we created it. Uh, Eastern Time, Indiana, whatever. Save. Event updated. Yeah, but it says it's updated, but but it does not update properly. So we must have removed something that that is it's uh, because it was. Um, let's see what code we have. Well, Thomas. Uh, I was. It was. Yeah. I was reusing some legacy code, so it's not you know, it's not entirely my my creation, you know. Okay. Uh, so I'm I'm still a bit confused because there's a lot of fields in there. Yeah. Uh, Should I just push it up to you, Thomas? Well, it's not like I'm gonna fix it, you know. Wait a <laughs> but uh, but this is closer to your code than mine. I know, I know what you're trying to do here. Ah. <laughs> uh, wait a uh, second. Repeat something each day of the week. Okay. Let's see. Uh, mask every n weeks. Yeah, so not the every n weeks. Weekly each day. Of each. Yeah, do we still have repeats weekly each days of the week mask? Uh, looks like we do. Weekly each days of the week mask is okay. here. That's good. But it's not working. That's bad. No. Okay, so we should. Uh, we don't have every n weeks anymore. Right? No. Nope. No, let's put that back perhaps. Okay. I just paste it in. Wait. Make it easier for myself. Right, DB. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'm going to drop everything and create it. Drop. Um, a better thing part. is like 
Um, you can just do rake db reset. It does everything together. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. He's right. Yeah, of course. Because oh, cool. we still have. A... Oh, it does the seating too. <clears throat> nice. Learn something new every day. Oh yeah. Uh, right. So that means my profiles can be locked out again. Every each week, every week, and the week. It's a week, it's a week, it's a minutes. But that's not the issue here. No. Nope. Right, let's 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 try that other way. Yeah. Let's just try to push it up. I mean, try try to create some some. Uh, more instances and push it up to me. I can. F I, I'm gonna have to fix this because, it fi yeah, it's my fault because I removed some stuff from the controller. <sighs> this weekly ended. Yeah, I see that now actually. Weekly. Okay, it looks like it's still not working. Yeah. Okay. Just you want me to push it, push it up like this? Yeah, pu push it up like this, and I, I uh, try to fix this. It's gonna have to look. Um, it also feels like I'm gonna have to drop out because I'm alone with the news for a while, at least uh, half an okay. hour or something. But I can I can come back in 30 minutes. You know, uh, in the meantime, you guys, if you want to work on the bio or something, you know, you can do that. Yeah, Don't let sure. Me hold you back. Uh, events. Okay. Sup on events. All right, great. I just pulled it from you. Tadeus, um, we're doing some heavy software engineering here. Shut up. <laughs> Good thing he doesn't understand what I'm world. saying, right? <laughs> he's going to grow up to change the world. He's going to wake up in the middle of the night when he's like 40 and be like, we're doing heavy software engineering. Shut up. <laughs> he's <back> to sleep. <laughs> Traumatized by his father, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing he doesn't understand what I'm talking about. At least not yet. Uh, at least if I say it with a smile on my face, he's all happy. You know. That's the good thing about being a father is a smile masks everything. Mm hmm. Brian Events. Let's see here. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 Imagine if you had to write all this in assembly. Oh man. That I just give up. Let's stop <laughs> software development. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as I get to my first jump statement, I'll be like, yeah, I'm done. No more <laughs> loops after this. <laughs> Actually, now after after we've been working for, uh, you know, on this, uh, I mean, w w once you start working agile and in, 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 in the team, I can't even imagine doing this in, in uh, by myself anymore, you know, or in PHP yeah. or some other languages that I used to, used to write uh, stuff, or hitting the database with SQL statements, for instance, you know. It, right, I know it's, right. you, you get greater control, but I can, I'm just going to show you uh, some SQL statements I, I had to write for an app I was doing. Let me just, and I know this is perhaps not the best way to, to write SQL, but let me just show you. Oh, uh, SQL, oh my god. Add conversation, let's see, delete, uh, add message query, let's take no, this is not the one. I had. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's raining. Inbox conversation. Yeah, okay. Have a look at my. Yeah, you see this? From line 12 to line 54. Right. That's, that's a SQL uh, statement. 
all sequel. I, I, I think the... Uh, <laughs> and this is the short activity. one, actually. It's, you know... Uh, it's crazy. I, mean, I think the, the, the way all those languages work yeah, with each other, you definitely need a couple eyes on board. Mm. You know, this, this, this one actually did, yeah. w w when we logged in using an iPhone app, it, we hit, you know, we sent, sent a post request, and the only thing he, this, this uh, call would do is to write, logged in with uh, Messenger, you know, on the website. And this is the this is the SQL that does it, you know. Right, right. It's crazy. And imagine if it was all in assembly, then it'd be probably four times bigger. Yeah. Four times? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Trust me. A hundred times. <laughs> that will be yeah, a thousands of times bigger. No, no, no. You know what? I, I can see that because I I can see a lot of moving from EAX and the EC or EBX and oh god. Oh, I'm having nightmares, and I haven't even gone to bed yet. <laughs> this is just. To I get do want a, to learn a little bit of Sembler. Th this is, is just Sam's to get a, a username out of the database, actually. You know. Oh, good God! Left join, right join, left join. Group because by. you know you store you store some data in in one in one table and another, some other piece of data, and this is a legacy database. I didn't write the database. Uh, so I, I uh, for instance, here you see that he was storing sex, the real name and birthday, uh, in the same table, but mm -hmm. depending on you know what, what the value of, of, of a field you, know, you are displaying it differently, and right. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't design the database like this, but since this was legacy, I, I had to I had to write all this shit. Hey. Hey. I'll tell you what, when I was, uh, my last year and a half in the Army was spent as a database manager in uh, MySQL, and the amount of tables that were in there, and I looked at it, I'm like, why? Why? When this table does the same thing as this table, but it needs to be here for something else. And that's what made me decide to become a software engineer, and most people look at it and be like, I don't want to deal with this. Me, I want to make it easier. Hmm. Make my millions, buy my island, and walk around in my underwear just because I can. Exactly. <laughs> That's the way you do it. Uh, okay, that guys. Like I, some, I, I, I'm gonna have to drop out for a while and take care of the deals. Uh, I'll be I'll be back and I have a sure. fix for that uh, for that method as well, so we can continue uh, uh, with. Uh, um, I can so we can continue with uh, those events. But are you guys gonna stay stay on here or what's up? Well, I won't. I'll be going to bed soon. Oh yeah, that's too bad. Um, so, should I stop the broadcast or or do you want me to go on with this? Um, I don't know. Ryan, like, uh, can you open? Um, mm. All right, let's let's decide that I stop this one, and uh, you guys can now open a new one if you if you plan to work some more. Yeah, sure. Um, oh. Yeah, if anybody's gonna pair on website one, I'll be available. Otherwise, I'll just work on edit chat again. All right, I talk yeah. to you talk to you soon, guys. I, I'll be back in uh, half an hour. Right. Or something. All right. Cool. All right. Take it easy, Tom. All right. All right. And good night, Thomas. All right. You too. All right. Cheers. Bye -bye. Yeah.